was Malik. You have the video I sent you. <laughs> this is what. This is the fight I'm actually looking forward to. It's not even the me fight too. in the ring. It's the fight outside, outside of the, of the ring, ring that got me heated. I don't know, if Jamie. You saw this, but well, let's here, see. watch. Here we go. I like the anticipation. Drum roll, please. You know, like, hey. It's the only thing that made me happy. I'm like, I remember sitting there, like, <laughs> as, like, I mean, because once Trying I Theo. fucking, he Look started tapping. Right over. I started girl. dropping, right like, the fans. 12 o'clock You know what's so funny? Elbows. You got my you boy, too, go over there trying to break it up. And I'm just standing there. Look at yeah. Bro, and that was so Look fucked up, too, and I'm so happy. Brendan Allen is pink, right angle. his pink bomber. <laughs> I bit him. Uh-uh. I All right, stop it. So I went. Let me ask you a question. You bit him? What are the, what are the, um, what are the... What are the uh, what are the odds that it's that it's like pro wrestling, or do you think that was actually real? Oh, or, that's that's real. If you know Sean, for real? if that's you know real. Sean Strickland as a person, uh, you don't even need to know. Just see his interviews and just see him how he portrays himself. He's very real. That he's dude, a loose cannon. He's a legitimate psychopath. Yeah, like legit psychopath. Is that the one who was just on Theo Vaughn's podcast? Bond, yeah. and, he, and he like and he really cried, got yeah. emotional, and like that yeah, takes a lot of authenticity to with do that childhood so he's well, doing especially it. with Theo because Theo's like his, half his brain doesn't work so like well, I to think make, Theo's smart no don't that's, be wrong Theo's one of my best buddies like I love him when he picks up my phone call but he's one of my <laughs> good buddies call him I mean, right now you he's, won't he's, he's great I got his number let's put him on blast he won't pick up what's up dude um, but shout out to Theo that's fantastic to make Sean Strickland cry uh, I mean that's, that's incredible I mean, he, I, what a test to like masculinity though like having two guys be able to talk and communicate like that. I think that that was a beautiful podcast. And you don't see that a lot from mm -hmm. combat athletes. You don't see the raw, you know, material from. And what, what I really liked him set, like him, what he said uh, was how he, he talked about, he's like, I want to, I have thoughts of like, I want to kill people. Yeah. And he's like, and I channel yeah. all of that and all my emotions. And he's like, it's hard to talk about this, but he channels all of that into fighting and the training gives him that outlet. So I think like, Combat sport. That's the best part about combat sports. Is yeah, I mean he's one guy. Probably, mm -hmm. He's one guy. Would definitely would not want to see in jail. No, he already said he goes if he wasn't fighting he'd be in jail or no not jail prison. Well, I, I feel like he <laughs> so. has something to look forward to now. You know what I mean? No, for sure. And you, you see an outlet. It's it's very cool to see people that didn't have an outlet in life and they find they pick up martial arts and they run with that and yeah. it, it really gives them life and that's very something you know similar where I you know. I saw myself. That's the best part about life. sports. Yeah, hundred percent. That, that channels what? for all sports. Yeah. Jamie, have you ever done anything like Muay Thai or like do, do jiu jitsu or anything like that? Karate, no. anything? No, my roommate Emily. She's a second degree black belt. That's crazy. Yeah.